Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, you need to turn off the water to the refrigerator. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the lower refrigerator door hinge in an LG refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips and a flat blade screwdrivers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new lower refrigerator door hinge. This spring-loaded door hinge is located at the bottom of the left side the refrigerator door. It allows the door to slide open and assists in closing it. If the left side door is reluctant to get closed by itself, you need to check the lower door hinge and replace it if needed. Now we're looking at the back of the fridge. We need to remove this cover off. Two Phillips screws. I'm going to take them out and remove the cover. The next step would be disconnecting this water line from this coupling. I'm going to press in the locking collar and I'm going to remove the tube. All right, now we're moving to the top of the fridge, uh, to the left side door hinge. We're going to remove it to get to the water line. All right, now we're facing a task of removing this cover, hinge cover, and it's held in place by a single Phillips screw. We're going to take it out, and then I'm going to remove the cover. Now we need to Disconnect two plugs here. And I'm going to press down on the tab here, pull it apart. Uh, for this one, we need the flat blade screwdriver. There's a two tabs here. I'm going to pull one out, and it comes apart. So now we're going to pull on this line, and we're going to take it in. Now we're going to open the hinge lever, slide it. Next we're going to take this uh, Phillips screw that holds two ground wires. And I'm put it aside. Next we're going to insert the flat blade screwdriver and we're going to pry the hinge off. Let's open the left side door carefully. It's not going to come off completely, but it's hanging down a little bit. Uh, next, I would recommend you to open this lever. Open the ice door here and remove the uh, ice bin. If it's full with ice, you're going to preserve the ice. Also, it will make it much lighter. Lift it up and take it out. All right, so I'm going to place it back in because it's empty. And close the door and the lever. And now I'm going to lift the door off the bottom hinge. Keep in mind it's kind of heavy. Place it down. And then I'm going to put it on this side. Now I'm going to take out these two Phillips screws. And then we're going to remove this door stopper. One more Phillips screw, and we can remove this lower door hinge. I'm going to use the flat blade screwdriver. We're going to start prying it, and now I can pull it out. This is the old lower refrigerator door hinge next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Now we're going to insert a new door hinge into this opening. Press it in all the way. Now we're going to secure the hinge with a Phillips screw here. Next, going to uh, install the door stop. And we're going to secure the door stop with a couple of Phillips screws. Alright, door is ready to go back 
on the fridge. All right, now I'm gonna lift that door. Remember, it's heavy. And uh, we need to place the bottom hinge opening onto this middle hinge. All right, uh, we're in and now I'm gonna close the door. Okay, it's not gonna go anywhere. And the top hinge, we need to get up on the leather. Now I'm gonna pull up the uh, upper hinge to kind of work it out. Then I'm gonna swing it over and lock over this tab then press it down. Slide it underneath here. And that assures that we are in the right position. Now we can connect this uh, double green wire, that's the ground wire. I'm gonna use a Phillips screwdriver. And now we can close that uh, lever that locks the hinge. Next, I'm going to feed this uh, water line into this opening. It should come up at the back of the fridge. All right. And now it's time to connect a couple of plugs here. And now I can uh, place the hinge cover on. And now I'm going to secure that the cover with a Phillips screw. And then I'm going to insert the tube into the coupling. Push it in all the way. You see the first black line disappears. I'm going to pull. It's good. Next I'm going to install the cover. I will replace the screws in and match the holes. And I'm going to use this uh, Phillips screwdriver. Okay. And next we're going to insert this line under the retainer. Lift it up gently and place it under. Plug the fridge in, open the water and check if there are any leaks. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.